Hi, Tinmay. Hello. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you properly. Okay. How are you doing, Tinmay? I am doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay. Is like is the is it audible to you? Like is the yeah. quality fine? Yeah, you are live and it's audible to everyone. Okay. So, yeah, so before that, we had uh, so many sessions from morning 10 30. Yeah, I think you I are the, yeah, you are the seventh speaker for today. So, you. yeah, and we are really glad to have you today. So, uh, Chinmay, you can introduce about yourself and the topic you are going to speak today. Uh, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you can share your screen so that I can put it on the screen. Yeah, I'll just add it to the screen. Yeah. Is it visible? Yeah, just can I'll just put it. Yeah. It's on stream. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay so uh, I'll just start. Yeah. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing great and keeping yourself happy and fit, both mentally and physically. I am Chinmay Jain, and I graduated from SRM University in June 2019 from computer science engineering as my domain. And then I had a keen interest with data science. Then, so that is why I went to Bangalore for like five months. And I so I got my certification for IABAC, that is International Association of Business Analytics Certification from Bangalore and scored a good grade there. And after that, uh, like in like after like two, three months, I started working as a data scientist in with C.ai. And now like it happened like last night only, I received an offer letter as an AI engineer for Pucho Technology in Bangalore. And I have been working on various projects like ethical AI and model development in speech recognition. So this was just a jiffy of my introduction and I will just uh, start with what I'll be speaking today. So it is like, how is open source helping in AI? As in how is open source helping in artificial intelligence? I'll just start. So I'll be covering what is open source, uh, difference between open source and free software, and the criteria, like what criteria open source works on. I'll be giving out certain advantages of open sources in AI, as in how is it enhancing AI, and some of the advantages from business perspectives as well. All right. So um like in the simplest level if i could explain that open source programming is merely writing code that you know other people can freely use and modify uh, but i'll just make a point clear here that um, just being on github and you know just being on github and having a public repo does not make any code open source so like this is just a myth people at times have or the beginners might be having. Open source, like it's a term that uh, originally referred to open source software that is OSS. And uh, I would just explain a bit more like open source software. It is like a code that is designed to be publicly be like publicly accessible so that anyone can see it. Anyone can modify it and anyone can distribute it or share it. I would just add this as well, that the history of open source is the history of internet, because this is a very great point, which I want to say. In the 1950s and in the 1960s, um, researchers you know, developing early internet technologies and telecommunication network protocols relied on open and collaborative research environment. Just for example, the ARPANET, that is Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, it became the foundation for the modern internet. Why? Because it encouraged peer review, it encouraged open feedback processes, 
it encouraged user group sharing and it is a fact that it was built upon another source code so we can see like i have i have just given you a gif of what os is then now i'll be starting with a gif of what as as and how does an open source development model work so uh, open source development model like uh, i would in short say it's a process which is used by an open source community project to develop open source software i know this is a bit confusing uh, let me come up again so it is the open source development models it is the process used by an open source community project to develop an open source software the software then can be released under an open source license so that anyone can view it or modify the source code and some of the examples i would say are like the projects hosted on github where you can access the repositories or you know you can get involved in the community projects ansible kubernetes and linux and a lot many things we have as open source and now i would explain you that why and what is the major difference between open source and a free source like we all have been hearing open source free source open source free source so like although there are different rules for free software licenses and open source licenses but what is not apparent from those two sets of rules is like both the term refers to essentially the same amount of licenses and softwares where each term implies different underlying values so uh, in a simple language i could say that the terms free source and open source software like refers to essentially the same set of licenses that they arrive at but like these licenses arise at a different roots the results are not perfectly identical but the differences are unlikely to matter broadly and even though like uh, these licenses are the same and a person's choice of terminology can uh, you know it may imply a different emphasis in the values and uh, i would just read out some free software directly so it here are some things like the free software directly maintains a large database of free software packages and uh, some of the best known examples could be linux psd the linux os and i would come to the popular open source software such as mozilla firefox web browser and uh, thunderbird in the client php scripting and a lot many open source things available yet and free source as well now i would uh, you know just briefly explain since we have short time so i'm just trying to cover up everything and for any doubts you can reach out to me and you can just type in the questions and i would reply back to you when i'm offline so i'll just uh, give a criteria of the open source uh well i'll just start with free redistribution so it is like the license shall not restrict any parting any party from selling or giving away the software as a component of an aggregate software distribution which contains programs for several different resources so in short i would say the license shall not require a royalty or other fee for such sale then i would say the source code should be publicly available so this is like the source code must be the like the source code must be the preferred form in which a programmer would modify the program deliberately obfuscated source code like is not allowed as in once one cannot make it publicly by his or her own wishes intermediate forms such as uh, the output of the preprocessor translators like we cannot put certain 
media uh, certain terms like translator or preprocessor because this, these are certain technical things and these things can be only accessed by the one one who has made the code and it would become difficult for the one who are, who, are, who are accessing the code to you know modify the software then there is derived works so it is basically like the license must allow modifications and derived works and must allow them to be you know distributed under the same terms as the license of the original software so this is something very important we must look at then there are some menial things like integrity of the author's source code obviously there should not be any kind of discrimination against persons or groups or there should not be any discrimination against fields of endeavor uh, distribution of license should be allowed this is very important point that license must not be specific to a product so i would explain this uh, like the rights attached to the program must not depend on the programs being part of a particular software distribution if the program is extracted from the distribution and is used for the distribution within the terms of the program's license all parties to whom the program is redistributed should have all the same rights as those that are guaranteed in the conjunction with the original software distribution and i would just end the criteria by the last things that is license must be technology neutral as in no provision of the licenses may be predicted on any individual technology or any style of inference and the license must not restrict other software so it is like um all right so it is like the license must not place restrictions on other software that is distributed along the licensed software uh, for example uh, the license must not insist all that other programs distributed on the same medium that must be open source obviously okay so now here comes the core thing that how is open source helping in ai because we all have been using open source terms and now let's see how open source contributes in artificial intelligence uh all right so like open source uh, it allows any developer or any it team to develop technologies i would say more cheaply and uh, cheaply as well as quickly as well as more you know the the code becomes more flexible and it is secure so developing in the open source helps to like it helps us accelerate the adoption of numerous frameworks and software solutions through support from a large community of contributors so i would say like um, which technology companies are already demonstrating the commitment to open source so like in the recent years we have seen that there has been growing number of technologies like there has been a growing number of technology companies supporting the open source community and making artificial intelligence and machine learning frameworks accessible to the wider industry google for example you know like we all know that google has played an active role in the development of ai using open source like it opened up the research of its machine learning framework that is tensorflow back in 2015 and we all know like since then the platform has grown in popularity and is now being used by other like some of the world's biggest brands including airbnb uber sap ebay and what not and i would just uh, point out one more uh, 
you know, recent example, which we all must have seen, that is the example data set of COVID data set uh, by John Hopkins. So it was, it is also open source. And uh, for example, like currently I'm working on something related to speech recognition and chatbot. So like if I want to patent this, and if I want to open source it, then let then now now I'll explain that how uh, like how my patenting of uh, some model or some speech recognition model or any chatbot, how I can seek this open source advantage from the business perspectives because it will be open source and I will be having access or and I will be having all the reviews of the world's best developers and they can to modify it right. So I will come up to the, you know, how is this advantages from business perspective? So like I just talked about, like if I decided to open source this product in future and how can I leverage the opportunity of open source world? So uh, like the open source software, right? It allows the IT teams to access frameworks, data sets, workflows and the software models in the public domain and as such it reduces the training cost by giving developers the tools to learn on the job and harness expertise from their peers so so like it becomes so open to all that if i have if i if i create a model and i put it up if i put it uh, for open source then anybody who is into this can you know develop it can put new features to it so that is how the cost is reduced the training cost is reduced because i have given the developers the tools to learn on the job and also to harness the expertise from the peers and the open source community you know it offers an extra layer of security by continually monitoring the software code for flaws so this is to mention that all of us can do we have been using open source but we were not much aware that how is it actually helping the industry so i would just wrap up saying that no matter what where you are today we have the power you know to do whatever we want to achieve in life so i will just hand over to rohit again and if you have any questions, you just can reach out to me or you can just type in the questions and I will be happy to take your questions. Well, like I'll just uh, put the answers offline and because we are running a short of time, so I'll just hand over it to Rohit. Thanks a lot, Chinmay, like uh, for speaking on uh, how open source uh, is revolving the whole uh, world and people can contribute to open source and the yes. base. So uh, like 